Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Just trying to adjust my screen so I get the right uh, the right view. <clears throat> Can't do it. Never mind. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my focus as a writer for the last 25 years has been on the fate of the human species. Um, I've been writing about scientific aspects of the 10 mega threats which now are bearing down on humanity. This morning, I'm going to talk about just one of those threats, that is the poisoning of the planet and the, uh, the desperate need for us to clean it up. Um, basically, as, as, we, uh, as we look at our future, there are just a number of these huge things uh, bearing down on us. We all know about climate change. We know about the threat of nuclear war. Uh, but there are many other threats which are riding under the radar at the moment, and they require a solution equally urgently. So let me start my talk today. Earth and all life on it are being saturated with man-made chemicals in an event unlike anything which has occurred in all four billion years of our planet's story. Every moment of our lives, from conception to death, we are exposed to thousands of substances, some lethal in even tiny doses, and most of them unknown in their effects on our health and our well-being and upon the natural world. These enter our bodies with every breath, each meal or drink, the clothes we wear, the products we adorn ourselves with, our homes, our workplaces and furniture, the things we encounter every day. There is no escaping them. This has happened in barely a single lifetime, so fast that while many people are conscious of specific issues like pesticides and air pollution, most people have little notion of the universal spread of contamination, the colossal volumes involved, or of the multiple impacts which tens of thousands of contaminants acting in combination may be having on our bodies and our minds, or of the risks which this now poses to human life and indeed the whole earth system, now and for centuries to come. Humanity currently manufactures around about 350,000 different chemicals. The US Health Department states that around 85,000 chemicals are used in that country alone, and each year an estimated 2,000 new ones are being introduced for use in everyday items such as foods, personal care products, prescription drugs, household cleaners and lawn care products. The United Nations Environment Programme cautions that few of these chemicals have ever been properly tested for health or environmental safety. Global output of industrial chemicals has more than doubled since 2000 to around 2.5 billion tonnes per year, and it is forecast to triple by the mid-century. However, these purposefully designed substances are the mere tip of the iceberg of total human chemical emissions. I mean, for example, we produce 11 billion tonnes of garbage every single year. Our cities just flooded with, with waste matter. Uh, we produce 150 million tonnes of nitrogen and 11 million tonnes of phosphorus um, used in, in chemical fertilisers and from the burning of fossil fuels and waste disposal. 400 million tonnes of hazardous waste, including 50 million tonnes of old computers and mobile phones. And this has grown from just 1 million tonnes in 25 years. In all, we produce about 15 billion tonnes of coal, oil and gas every year, which of course contributes the lion's share of 50 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide to our atmosphere. We generate 72 billion tonnes of minerals, metals and materials every year, and that produces up to a trillion tonnes of rock, soil, tailings, overburden, acid runoff, and slags from mining. Producing our food or building our cities generates 75 billion tonnes of eroded topsoil. Now this chemical flood, which I estimate totals more than 220 billion tonnes or gigatons per year, constitutes by far humanity's greatest impact on the planet and on life on it. 
all life on it in the Anthropocene, which is the age of human impacts. It is five times the scale of our climate emissions. Yet it's not getting five times the attention, is it? Its sheer size and its global ramifications, it is the most underrated, underinvestigated, and poorly understood of all the existential risks facing humans in the 21st century. Science documents man-made chemicals moving relentlessly around the earth in water, air, soil, wildlife, fish, food, in trade, in people, and in our genes. These substances move constantly in both space and time. They travel on the wind, in water, attached to soil, in dust, in plastic particles, in wildlife, in food and traded goods, in and on people. They combine and recombine with one another and with naturally occurring substances, giving rise to generations of new compounds, some more toxic, others less, most completely unknown. They leapfrog around the planet in cycles of absorption and re-release, which are known as the grasshopper effect. Many of these substances, especially heavy metals, last for generations, creating a cumulative toxic load in the environment and in our bodies. Their effects are, even now, being passed on to future generations of humans in our genes. Researchers are finding man-made toxins in the stratosphere, where it is responsible for a pandemic of skin cancers <clears throat> the, from the peak of Mount Everest, where the fresh snow is too polluted to drink, to the Amazon jungle, to the remotest atolls, the continental shelves, the ocean deeps, from the high Arctic to the pristine Antarctic, in the filthy gray brown cloud of toxins and particulates that has settled across industrial Asia from Mecca to New Delhi to Beijing. Cancer causing flame retardants and the mercury emitted by coal burning have been found by researchers worldwide in wild birds, in fish, seals, whales, deep sea squid, polar bears, and in life forms in the remotest corners of the world, where they never come into direct contact with humans. These substances are routinely detected throughout the global food chain, in our drinking water from rivers and aquifers beneath our cities and farms, in the very air we breathe, especially indoors. Mm -hmm.